No matter how good a cook you are, we all have favorite restaurant meals we love. But in this economy, families can't afford to eat out as much. If you're craving some of your favorite restaurant dishes at home, we have the perfect cookbook for you. Joining us to share how he discovered some of the most popular recipes is author of America's Most Wanted Recipes, Ron Douglas. Ron, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Oh, hi. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, you know, I, I took a quick look at the book, and you have more than 200 recipes from more than 57 restaurants, some of the most popular ones out there, the Cheesecake Factory, the Olive yeah. Garden, all the good ones. One of the recipes that's getting probably the most attention in your book is KFC's famous fried chicken. Did you really master the Colonel's Secret Recipe? Well, yeah, I think that gets the most attention because it's probably the most closely guarded secret, and everyone knows about it. And, um, you know, many people have tried my recipe, and they tell me they can't taste the difference, including members of the media, so I'm pretty confident that I've got it nailed. Well, speaking of these taste testers, you used quite a few to master all of these recipes. How many did you use for the uh, KFCs? Well, throughout the years, um, probably dozens. I mean, this is probably a sixth version of this recipe I've tried, and this one comes the, the closest, if not exact. So what's the secret to it? Well, the secret to it is you need a, a deep um, pressure fryer and you need uh, MSG, is, accent is um, one of the flavorings that it uses. How long did it take you to master it? Uh, maybe you know, 18 months or so. Wow. But as I said, this is my sixth version of it, and I've been trying it for years. Did you gain weight during this process? No, I actually worked out quite a bit. I, I played basketball. I played in college at University of Stony Brook. Okay. So now, has anyone from KFC given this the stamp of approval? No, it's actually in their best interest that they don't admit that I have the recipe. You know, they want right. to keep it a secret. Okay, there's another recipe that's quite popular. It's Junior's famous cheesecake, and you were kind enough to send some over, so I'm going to try it. This okay. is seen as New York's finest, and I'm going to take a little bit of a bite, but how hard was this one to master? Oh, this one was pretty difficult because this recipe is a little different than the usual cheesecake. Mm. It has uh, cornstarch in it. It has uh, Keep talking. This cream, is great. cream de tartar is another, another one of the spices. Mm. And it uses a sponge cake instead of the traditional graham cracker crust that most cheesecakes use. This is fabulous. Now, you Glad also... You like it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to know if there's more. I think there is. You also offer healthier alternatives like substituting the cream cheese with mascarone. What does that do to the taste? Well, it gives it a more creamy texture uh -huh. and uh, more of like an Italian cheesecake type of taste. And I think the good thing about this book is it lets you um, substitute ingredients and you could make the dishes to your liking, whereas in a restaurant you don't have much of a choice. Right. Now, you're a former finance manager, so I'm assuming you've added up how much money you can save by making these recipes at home. Right, right. Many people eat out two, three times a week, and if you, you know, substitute eating at home instead of eating out using this cookbook, you could literally save thousands of dollars a year and, you know, 15 or 20 years, you'd be sending your kids to college. <laughs> and a lot of these recipes, they don't look that hard. Everyone loves the breadsticks at Olive Garden. I read over that one last night. That looks pretty easy. How popular has it been? Oh, it's a very popular dish. I mean, me and my wife, we go to Olive Garden. That's the first thing we order, that and the, uh, <laughs> and the, the dipping soup. sauce. It comes out so great. Now, uh, another great one that New Yorkers will be familiar with, it's the Soup Nazi. You've nailed a few of his soups, including crab bisque. Um, was your interest in the Soup Nazi because of Seinfeld? Yeah, well, I think Seinfeld really put that uh, establishment on the map. And, um, you know, I used to eat there all the time. And the soup really is as good as advertised. You could take a lot of abuse just to get that soup. <laughs> How <laughs> well, long did it take you to master those recipes? Uh, that one took maybe six months to, uh, to get the, uh, the crab bisque recipe. And the other ones, you know, took probably about the same amount of time. Okay. And it's all, a, you know, a collective effort between the members of my website, RecipeSecrets.net. We have over 200,000 email subscribers who pitch in and, and get, provide feedback on the, the recipes we publish. You even have some cheap recipes in there, including Taco Bell. You share a few of their recipes, Beef Kalupa, Supreme being one of them. How hard was that? Well, that one was not too difficult. The real secret to that is you could take a pita bread and uh, deep fry it, and that gives it that chalupa shell, that uh, crunchy but chewy taste with the uh, pita bread. And these all come out of your home in Long Island? Yes, yes. I've been trying this uh, since 2003. Every week, every week I would publish, you know, two or three different recipes to my weekly newsletter. Uh -huh. and I really call it the secret recipe lab is where, <laughs> out in Long Island, where I try these dishes. And do you do this full time now? <laughs> yes, full time now. I left uh, 2007. I, I began doing this full time. And how did you go about choosing the recipes? Are these all of your favorites or did you get suggestions? Well, most of them are, are suggestions and, and by popularity, really, from the people on my website. 
Now, you mentioned a few of the recipes took about six months to nine months, but overall, you have more than 200 in here. How long did this take you to put together this book? Well, as I said, I've been doing this since 2003, so it's really taken years to uh -huh. uh, do it. It's really a collective effort, as I mentioned, with the people on my website and uh, family and friends and my wife is, as well. Which is your favorite and which is your wife's favorite? Well, I have many different favorites. I mean, the good thing about this cookbook is you can really mix and match. Like, you can have an appetizer from one restaurant, you know, a main course from another restaurant, a, a dessert from a different restaurant. You could have, you know, the best of both worlds all in your kitchen. I mean, one of my favorites is the uh, Cheesecake Factory Oreo Cheesecake. Oh, that my comes nephew's really going to love it if I learn how to make that. How hard is that to make? <laughs> uh, that was not too hard. Not as hard as the uh, Junior's, but it has the uh, Oreos in it, so. Yeah, and it's huge, too. Right. So what does your wife like the best? Um, well, she likes the uh, Applebee's Fiesta Lime Chicken. Mm. She likes the uh, Benny Hanna's Hibachi Steak. And, and finally, are you working on any more recipes right now? Yeah, right now I'm trying to get that KFC Grilled Chicken <laughs> recipe down pat. <laughs> All right, well, good luck uh, with that. Thanks and so much. And thanks a lot for the cheesecake. That's all we have time for this edition of Now You Know. I'm Meg Oliver in New York. Thanks for watching. ABC News Now. Good to know. ABC News Now. Good to know.